inner city living can get pretty hectic at times, so for those of you dreaming of escaping the rat race, you'll be happy to know there's a healthy living urban oasis just a few kilometres from Melbourne CBD where you can relax, unwind and get a taste of the good life. Sirius Environmental Park is situated on the banks of Merry Creek in Brunswick East, around seven kilometres from Melbourne. Named after the Roman goddess of agriculture, Sirius is a centre for education and research in environmental strategies. It's hard to believe that this former wasteland and tip is now an urban oasis that offers educational programs, workshop courses and tours with an insight into supporting sustainable ways of living. And while you're here, you can also treat your taste buds to something special. One of the main reasons Sirius is so popular is the cafe, because not only is it the perfect place to relax, but they also use around 80% organic produce, with most of it coming from the Sirius Organic Market Garden. From mid-April, the cafe will be closed for renovations, but full service will operate from the Merry Table, which is the Sirius catering and function venue. The Merry will still be available for functions, but this is where you'll be able to feast on all the old cafe favourites, plus some new creations courtesy of head chef Kieran Kilmartin. And I can definitely recommend you try his tasty desserts and a coffee made with homemade soy milk. But enough about the food, I'm here to learn something, and my tour starts in the Energy Park with Series Excursions Manager Shane French. The Energy Park is grid interactive solar, so a lot of the panels that you'll see around are generating power right now and we'll use it at series. And when our power use goes down, it will go back into the grid. It's also a really good learning tool, so we have lots of different displays of solar. We have traditional solar that you see over here that people have on their houses. We have flexible solar over here that is sewn into the fabric. We also have uh, urban wind here as well, so we see the potential for this. Every skyscraper could have wind turbines on the top of it. So we also have a small trial biogas plant that runs off the methane generated from food scraps. We also have solar thermal, which you see in other countries like Spain, um, where they're generating baseload power, so power for whole communities and whole cities based off reflecting the sun, and we hope that this is the future of power generation. Shane also gives me a tour of the Eco House, which demonstrates sustainable ways of building, focusing on low water and energy use, and from there it's off to the permaculture and bush food nursery to get some tips on backyard food production. So permaculture is basically like a design system that's based around trying to create appropriate and common sense sustainable garden design. We're really enthused about helping people to create gardens that they can like manage and not feel overwhelmed by and get a really good productive yield out of. The nursery shop has a heap of information for getting your garden going and right next door to that, the visitor centre has a great selection of educational material and gift ideas on sustainable living. There's always something happening at Ceres with educational programs and workshop courses that are available to both school groups and the general public at the community farm. There's live music performances happening most days and the other thing you have to check out is the organic market where you can get your hands on some of the most fantastic organic fruit and veggies on the planet. And without a doubt, the best way to finish off your visit here is with a trip to the organic shop where you can stock up on a whole range of organic goodies so your series experience lasts just a little longer. For more information on what's happening at series, you can give them a call or check out their website.